And I remember writing stories in third grade. And I've written in a journal for years and years. But really, um, I've only been writing poetry for a couple of years. And I didn't think I was nervous, but <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've really read to people other than my family. This was um, at the beach a couple of summers ago. Alone, watching the ocean's waves. I feel the fluidity of life. Sadness inside rolls through me as the water ebbs and flows. Just the simplicity of the beach comforts me. Sand, sun, sky, wind and waves surround me. They invite me to remember what I already know. This was, it could have been this winter, but it was really last winter. Frigid winter thoughts. I gaze at the stark white mountains, and I choose to remain inside. The cocoon of the hearth calls me. A warm room, comfort food, gratitude that life offers me these. Laughter with Marshall and Jerry, dreams that gather family in the surreal world of the cold night. is what started it all, because I, I do love to garden. I live out in the hills, and this, I was up in the garden about 7.30 in the summer morning, and I had my journal, and I just started writing. And I'm, that was, I'm sure all of you are aware of that urge. It's just, it overtook me. So this, this actually is my favorite. Garden morning. The stillness of this summer morning calls me to the garden. Swaying, slender, soft, pink surprise lilies beckon me to the sacred space. Tall, stately trees surround me as I eagerly enter this familiar place. A rich cacophony of bird conversation greets me. A tiny whisper of mountain breeze refreshes me. Varied verdant greens of the encircling woods radiate emerald hues. Brilliant orange and yellow nasturtiums delicately climb the high garden fence that prevents the deer from gleaning the harvest inside. Tender pole beans wind gracefully upward weaving a net of broad leaves and spiraling stems. Plump, deep purple blackberries hang heavily in the early sunlight. I watch a small creamy butterfly take flight repeatedly as she flits among the peppers and the zinnias that invite her to drink their nectar. I sink into being here. I need no watch, no clock, no construct of time. What is that? A way to measure our lives? A way to order the chaos? Here I have no schedules, or expectations, no role to play out. I am immersed in the rhythms of living and dying. I am planted here, like the fruits and the vegetables that thrive in this soil. Understanding beyond words touches some inner place inside me. Here I renew my spirit and fill my soul with the fullness of nature, with the fullness of being alive, with the fullness of participating in this garden dance. 